Today we're going to learn a new move called a bounce cut and it looks just like this. All right, that is the bounce cut. I'm going to put these down and show you with some practice bottles so we can go through without spilling water everywhere. Um, what we have, what a, the reason I like this move is uh, not only is it, is it fun and people uh, tend to get a really big kick out of uh, watching this move, but I like it. It's another, again, a good ending to our change grip around the head sequence. This is probably my favorite ending uh, from the fencer's flourish to the flat behind the back. This one I like the most because it gets right to actually pouring the drink. It gets us to the part that we ultimately have to be working towards. So we're here, we do our change grip, roll down. We're going to come to this point. This is the move that we're learning today, the bounce cut. And it is really simple in theory. Uh, it's, but it's going to take a little bit of practice to actually get comfortable with it. But we've got our hands in this spot, and like I said, instead of just picking up the bottles and getting to this point, the most natural thing is generally to actually incorporate this into your routine and where you're actually going to be using this when you're uh, entertaining your guests. We've got the bottle like so, a grip on it like this, uh, almost like kind of like we're uh, milking a cow's udder, if you can kind of see uh, the way this looks right here, the, the grip. Uh, and then the tin, of course, our elbow kind of out and our uh, palm like so. And we're going to be pouring right into here. And then the bounce cut is really just a matter, it's just that. It's just bouncing and then cutting and, and uh, flipping the tin forward. So when we bounce like this, it'll actually cut off the uh, supply, the flow, for about a half second. It'll give you just enough time to flip the tin forward. So I do it from another angle here. We're going to bounce, we're going to cut that flow, we're going to flip that tin forward, and we're going to continue pouring into there. So that's really the move. Like I said, it's simple in theory, but it's, it's going to be a little messy when you practice. Grab an empty bottle, fill it up with water, put a pour spout on it. Whether you have um, these plastic spouts or whether you have the metal 285.50s from Spill Stop, use whatever you have in your bar, whatever you like to practice with. But again, we're going to get into that, into that spot, the bounce cut. And so it's really pushing down like so flipping uh, the tin and continuing to pour into there and then you can either cut which we'll focus on in another lesson or we can just kind of put the bottle down from here another reason that i like this move is that uh, you can take and finish from here and either of course go in into pouring into someone's drink or doing uh, one of my favorite moves which is that double uh, tin around the head so if we actually put that all together live with a, with a live bottle one of my favorite moves is going to look just like this Change grip around the head, the arm roll down, and into today's move, the bounce cut. With the nice little finish, a double tin around the head. I got a little bit of splash in that, but if you practice that uh, at home, you should actually be able to flip that uh, with about an ounce, ounce and a half. You get any more than two ounces and you're definitely gonna end up spraying. Um, but that's something that your guests, I think, really like to see. If you can get that bounce cut, they're impressed. Then you go ahead and take something that actually has uh, booze in it, flip it and catch it. And if you manage to do it without spilling, which hopefully you should, if you're doing it at work, uh, your guests usually really go crazy for that one. So uh, good luck, that's the move, and practice, practice.